eating my magic spoon cereal. Sorry. Okay, hey guys, it's Jesse V. And today I'm going to be telling you some very creepy prom stories. One involves something very tragic that happened to a prom queen. But before we get started, as you can probably already tell, today's video is sponsored by Magic Spoon. Now, this is an amazing cereal brand. It's super healthy, but also super delicious. It has zero grams of sugar, 14 grams of protein, only four net grams of carbs in each serving, and it's also only 140 calories. Now, for me, Personally, this is amazing because I'm on a Lyme disease treatment and I can't have anything with a bunch of sugar in it and this cereal has been my go-to. But also if you like crave really sugary cereals like you had as a kid but you want a healthier option, this is it. Now I have their best-selling flavors with me right here. First we have fruity. We also have frosted which is what I was just eating. It's my favorite by the way. We have cocoa and we have peanut butter. It's keto friendly, gluten free, grain free, soy free, low carb and GMO free. So click the link below to grab a variety pack and try it for yourself and be sure to use the promo code V at checkout to get five dollars off any order. You can also go to magicspoon.com slash V. I will link everything down below for you. So thank you so much Magic Spoon for sponsoring today's video. All right guys so let's get into this video about prom stories. Now when I first started to do research for this video it instantly reminded me of an episode from Are You Afraid of the Dark? That was like the show when I was growing up. It's about two boys named Greg and Jam and they have gone to a local graveyard. Now this is where they hope to find the ghost of a girl who died in a hit and run car accident back in 1956. The accident happened while she was waiting for her boyfriend to pick her up for prom night at the graveyard gates. So apparently she was buried in her prom dress and since then there has been this legend about her. It is said that every single year on prom night the ghost of this prom queen will show up. She stands at the graveyard gates waiting Waiting for her boyfriend who never came. I remember this episode so well. Please comment down below if you do too. All right, next we have the story of Mary Lou. Now, a lot of people believe that the Bloody Mary legend was based off of a story of a prom night gone wrong. Now, there are like 50 different stories about Bloody Mary's origins, but this one is about a girl named Mary Lou. Now, Mary Lou was a girl who lived in the USA back in the 1950s. At her senior prom, she was crowned prom queen, but someone decided to play a trick on her and set off some firecrackers and her dress caught fire and Mary Lou was burned alive. Now there was a story about a group of girls who went to prom back in the 90s at the same school that Mary had died and close to midnight they all went into the bathroom to fix their hair and makeup. They began to smell this smoke and before they could investigate they saw this fiery face appear in the mirror before them and she kept saying put me out put me out put me out over and over again, just hoping that someone would come over and put out the fire that consumed her. So yeah, this was one of the legends of Bloody Mary actually. Next we have the story of Haunted Highway 5. There was this beautiful girl named Lynn who went to prom with her boyfriend. They had a good time, but when he was driving her home, the two of them got into a heated argument. Although it was raining heavily, the girl demanded to be let out of his car so she could walk home instead. So he obligated, letting her out between Natural Bridge and and Jasper on the side of Highway 5. He drove away eager to get home and she walked angrily towards home. That's when it happened. An 18-wheeler speeding down the highway, unable to see her, ran the girl over. He instantly got out of his truck and saw that she had died. Knowing that if he reported it, his life would surely be over, he decided to put her into a nearby ditch and drove away. When she didn't return home, her family reached out to her boyfriend to find out where he had left her. So he took them out to Highway 5 and they there, they found her in the ditch where the trucker had left her. So they say that now her ghost haunts a part of Highway 5, right between Natural Bridge and Jasper. If you're unlucky enough to drive an 18-wheeler down that road on a rainy night, you might just see her. Apparently, she's on the lookout for the man who had killed her. So her ghost climbs onto the side of every 18-wheeler she sees and peeks through the window. She wants to find out if you were the one who ended her life. And then lastly, we have a story called The Humming Prom Dress. This is about a girl named Sarah who was on a mission 
mission to find a one-of-a-kind prom dress. She wanted to find something that no one else had. So instead of going to all the popular stores like all of the other girls were doing, she decided to go to a thrift store just out of town. When she got there, she asked the lady at the counter if they had any really fancy dresses. But when the woman took her to see them, none of them really caught her eye. Right before she left, the lady told her that there was one more option, but it was hidden in the back. She said that back in the 80s, a woman brought the dress in and begged for them to take it. She said she didn't want to see it ever again and she left in a hurry. So the dress had been in the store for a couple decades, but no one was buying it, so eventually it became out of style and they put it in the back. So the lady brought out the dress for Sarah to see and she instantly loved it. It did look a little dated, but she felt like she could fix it up a bit. She bought the dress for only $15 and brought it home. She hung the dress up in her closet and went to bed. Over the next few nights, she continuously woke up from hearing a strange humming noise in her room. It was so muffled that she thought that maybe her parents were watching TV down the hallway. A month later, it was finally time for prom, so she put the dress on and went on her way. Now, all night long, people were giving her compliments about her dress. Everyone thought it was so beautiful and unique. They had never seen anything like it before. But a couple hours into the night, she was suddenly pulled aside by a teacher who asked her, where the heck did you find that dress? The teacher looked incredibly shocked and scared. Then Sarah told her where she got it and the teacher said, oh no, no, you should not be wearing that. Sarah found out that back in 1983, a girl had worn this to prom and had a terrible allergic reaction during the dinner. It sent her to the hospital and she eventually passed away. Her mother was so distraught that she wanted to get rid of the dress immediately. And that was the woman who dropped the dress off at the thrift store. That humming Sarah was hearing every night was the sound of the girl's spirit humming the very last song that she had danced to at prom. And that is how the story ends. So I guess be careful what prom dresses you find at a thrift store. <laughs> I don't even know. It's actually cool if you can find something very vintage and cheap to wear to prom. Like if it's unique, that's awesome. I just hope it doesn't hum. <laughs> Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any other creepy prom creepy pastas to mention, definitely comment them down below. But I hope you have an awesome rest of your day and I will see you in my next video. Bye!